Hi, I'm Dennis Dauphin, and I'm here today to talk to you about a product that I feel very strongly about that has been a, a strong, dominant force in the Hearst boiler line, and that is the vertical tubeless boiler. This boiler was created for its ruggedness, its toughness, and its durability. I want to start out on how this boiler was created. First of all, you, in order to do a boiler like this, you have to find the best material available in the world. We buy all our material based on ASME, CSA, CRN, GHOST, CE, all those approvals. We meet each and every one of them. So that the material that we have in this boiler is the best. We can also track this boiler from the time it was born till 20 years later. We know everything that was put in the boiler. Safety is a big concern for us at Hearst Boiler. We have the best products that meet all the, the necessary codes. We have CE, ASME, we have low water, primary low water cutoff, secondary low water cutoffs, blow down, we have gauge glass, we have a, a burner here that is the best in the market. We have also um, valves up that are completely mounted on the boiler and ports in every area so that you can do continual inspection at any time on the boiler. Next I want to talk to you about our design. First of all we start off with a boiler with a pipe inside a pipe. This is not a tube, this is a rugged pipe and it's put inside and then it's submerged inside the shell and covered with water. Now what does that do? First of all, you have a rugged boiler that's adapt to thermal shock. You have no issues with that. Secondly, the whole top of the boiler is covered with water. Therefore, you have a huge steam space. A lot of boilers, you have to work on the top of the boiler because the burner's up on top, or you have to lay on the ground. Our boiler is a center-mounted fire tube boiler. You see the burner in the background. The fire fires into the tube, into the pipe, in a cyclonic type uh, development, okay? So it causes a lot of turbulence. What does that do? That gives you heat release. And when you get this heat release, it, it, it affects efficiency. Then from there, that cyclonic turn, it goes down and leaves the windows of the boiler or the ports into the three other passes that are available in the boiler. So you have a total of four passes. So it goes out and goes through those passes, scrubbing along through those fins, then it goes out through the stack where you get a much lower stack temperature. We put inside, to cover those fins, a stainless steel jacket. This jacket is made from the highest quality, so there's no corrosion, erosion from the heat that occurs in many other boilers. Next, after that, we put a blanket material not a refractory. In most other boilers, they use a refractory. The problem with refractory, it deteriorates, it sweats, and it breaks apart. This boiler, it never happens. Finally, and I'll tell you why you need to buy our product. When you flip that switch, that boiler is gonna run. And that when you leave your process in the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning, you're gonna know that Hearst has your back and is watching out for you. We are there day or night, and this is a boiler that is more durable than any boiler that I've ever seen in the marketplace. 